everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a review of the T3's Cura Luxe Dryer. T3 has gotten really popular in the last probably two years I would say and I've really only kind of been hearing about them for maybe the last eight months. Um, I purchased this blow dryer at the end of December 2019 so I've been using it for about four months now in the salon. So the price point of the Cura Lux is $285 for regular customers. If you are a licensed stylist and sign up for their pro account, you get a discounted rate, you earn points by referring friends, and you make points on every purchase that you spend. So for every dollar you spend, you get a point. So it adds up quick. It's nice. It's free money. So no one's going to argue with that. Um, I have bought blow dryers that run me as much as this one. I've bought ones that are substantially less. Uh, some have been worth the price point, high or low, and some haven't been. So like I said before, I've only been using this one for about four months, and um, I am a licensed stylist though in the salon, so it's getting a good four solid days a week in use full time. So definitely time will tell if it's worth the price point. So those who have a pro account with T3, you get a two-year warranty. If you're just a regular purchaser, you get a one-year warranty. It's your pretty standard time length. Both are standard. I've had blow dryers that are two and one. Um, and you can register it online, which is super easy. You don't have to actually mail anything in. The features that you have on the Cura Lux, you have the digital ion air, you have five heat settings, you have two speed settings, a volume booster switch, and the auto sensor. So I'm going to hop into it. The digital ion air, um, ion air basically means you're going to be able to get to dry your hair quicker. It helps get the water out of the hair faster. So really in any like negative ion blow dryer, that's what it does. So for those of you that are a little confused on that, that's all that it means, which is, it's still nice. It's not like some not big deal issue. The five heat settings, the heat settings are really nice. When I first got it, I kind of felt like, do you really need five heat settings? I'd never had a blow dryer before that had that many heat settings, but honestly, like it's come in really handy, especially from a professional standpoint. There's so many different types of hair that we work on in the salon. So many clients have different levels of sensitivity. So I found with the five settings, I'm able to really give people different levels of heat that fit everyone's need. And the blow dryer with the ion air coming in handy on any level of the heat, you're able to get it nice and smooth. If they have frizzy hair, you get out those frizz. You can still give them body. I have not found any issue with using any level of heat. I still get a good blow dry with it. Um, if you're just solely using it on yourself, you might not use the heat settings as much. I think though that if you tried to use it, if you're someone at home just looking to try it out, I think you would enjoy any heat settings. So if you're just using it at home, definitely try them all out and see how you like it. So the speed settings are probably about your average speed. I can show you the two. So this is on high and this is on low. So both are pretty standard. Um, I don't feel like they're too loud. I mean, I, I feel like they're about standard as far as loudness goes for in salon use, at least with talking with your clients at home, you're not gonna notice it that much. They, the blow dryer comes with two different size nozzles. You have one that's a little bit more narrow, one is a little bit wider, so you get a little bit more airflow with this that sometimes will help speed up the blow dry. And with the more narrow one, you're gonna get a little bit more concentrated so you can smooth out a little easier. The volume booster switch. This is another feature that when I realized it was on the blow dryer, I was like, oh, this is just a gimmick. It's not really gonna do anything. It's just thrown in there as like something to say. But I really was pretty impressed with it. I completely expected it to do absolutely nothing. And then when I used it on myself, I was like, oh, I have a lot more fullness with a lot less effort. So on clients, I don't use it except for maybe in their crown area. If they specifically ask for a lot of body, I'll use it everywhere. But I mostly in the salon just use it on their crown, but on myself, I will use that the whole time because I like a little bit more fullness. So the auto pause sensor, the auto pause is really my main reason as to why I bought the blow dryer. 
on some blow dryers, I feel like where the button is, you might accidentally hit it and I don't know. It's not like that big of a deal, but I just like the idea of being able to pick it up and set it down and it automatically turns off. So when you have the auto pause sensor, you just turn it on, you put your hand in front of it, it turns right on, you let it go and it shuts off. So it works really well. The only issue I've had with it is that um, if I set it down on my tray in the salon, if a towel is bunched up and blocking either the front or the back of the sensor, it'll still remain on. Um, so that's something I've had to be aware of. If your hand kind of lifts off, it'll shut off. The first time that happened to me in the salon, I was like, this thing did not just break on me. Um, but it happened so quick that it turned right back on. So it was like a split second that it happened and it was fine. So I just try to be aware of the towels, like I said, on the tray to make sure they're not bunched up, that they're hitting the sensor to keep it on, especially if a towel is blocking the back of this here. You don't want to block that for the airflow. So that's really the only like main problem or annoyance I had with the auto pause. But overall, like I've loved it. It's definitely been what I was hoping for it to be in the salon for myself. The lock and cool shot. The lock and cool shot is actually, it might be my favorite thing about the blow dryer, which I feel like sounds a little weird, but it actually cools the air like almost instantaneously from when you hit it. It's just a button that you press one time. You can change the heat settings to go all the way down to cool and then hit the button if you want. But if you have it on high heat and you're in the middle of either blow drying your hair at home or your client's hair, you can hit the cool shot and within five seconds, it's cool air coming out. I'm not a big fan of the blow dryers where you have to hold the cool burst the entire time you want it to get cool on top of like switching it over to cool. I just feel like I've never had much success with liking the time frame of that. So this I find myself using the cool shot all the time because it cools quickly. Um, for those of you at home who might not understand what I'm talking about when I say the cool shot, the cooler airflow on your blow dryer is what will help you at home like retain your nice full blow dry that you might do. So if you're somebody who's using a round brush and you wrap your hair up in that round brush, you can switch your blow dryer over to cool and hold it on there. And what that's gonna do if you like a lot of like movement and bend in the hair, it'll set it while it's in your brush. So that's what the cool shot is great for at home use. And then obviously in the salon, we use it probably a lot more than people do at home, but I really love the cool shot. So as a whole, as far as all the features go, I really do like the dryer. I feel like it's been a great purchase for me. I've been happy with its performance. As far as the packaging, it wasn't anything crazy. It's just your standard box, nothing super, you know, insane. I'm not like a huge person with the packaging. It doesn't really make a difference to me. I'm not a huge fan of the finish on the dryer. I like the shine that it has. It's a very pretty finish, but it did get stained um, from a little color that I got on it in the salon that I couldn't get out even immediately trying to remove it. And on the nozzles, the finish has um, chipped off, which I'm gonna show you a closer view of that. Um, that I just feel like for the price point, it shouldn't be chipping off. That's just my personal opinion. It's not affected at all how the blow dryer works. All the other features of it are still amazing. It's just one of those things I look down and I see it and I'm a little bit annoyed for the price point of what someone spends for this blow dryer. Um, but anything else as far as actually though the chipping, I think it does fall under their warranty to get it replaced. Um, I've not gone ahead and gotten it replaced just because I don't feel like going through the steps because like I said, it is just on the nozzle, but it is something you can probably contact them about. And if you really wanted to, you can purchase the nozzle separately online if you want to get them, if it's something that bothers you. So I would think that if you're not using the Cura Lux in the salon um, and it's just something that you're using at home, I don't think that you're going to be experiencing the problems with the chipping on the nozzle just because you're not using it as many times in a day. We're in the salon, we're using it on multiple clients throughout the day, so it gets a lot more use. So overall, I would give the blow dryer a four and a half out of five stars. The temperatures of the heat setting, the speed, the cool shot, the auto sensors, I think will really find you loving and enjoying the blow dryer. I just, for the chipping aspect of it, that's why I can't give it a full five stars, but I really love it overall and I'm excited to see how long it's gonna last me. So 
Thank you guys for watching. Um, you can find the dryer on T3's website. I'll post a link in the description. I really recommend buying it through their actual website, especially if you're a licensed cosmetologist, so that way you can get the benefits of their pro accounts. And even if you're not a licensed, I just always feel like it's better to buy directly from the website to make sure you're guaranteeing your warranty and all that stuff. So hopefully if you were someone looking for a review on the blow dryer, it helped you kind of make a decision. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.